so I just went to the post office to drop off the last uh, box of CDs that I had to sell. Now I made a video about uh, me selling all my CDs, like I think uh, it was two years ago, one year ago. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I sold my whole bunch of CDs. Uh, I've only kept like a few, like uh, 20 CDs, but I sold the rest. Uh, I think I had over 2,000. And the reason I sold them all is because I don't see the necessity to keep them anymore, especially for me, for my lifestyle, you know, where I like to travel, I like to, you know, in the future move to different places. And I think uh, CDs or any material possessions for me, it becomes a burden. I'm not claiming this is for everyone because everyone is different, but... So yeah, I mean, I've been collecting CDs for the last uh, 10, 12 years, ever since I came to the UK. And uh, it becomes an obsession because uh, obviously I'm super into music and I wanted to collect everything I could. And, uh, you know, I was always going to the record stores to look for new bands. And there was a couple of months where I would go almost daily to the record shop and I would always bring new CDs. But, um, you know, on the back of my mind, I was always thinking, what am I going to do with all this stuff if I decide to move? I mean, you can always put everything in boxes and just sell all your stuff. But at the end of the day, um, you know, it's, it's, it's more work, you know. So I decided to sell everything, you know, my, you know, um, physical music collection. Well, I wouldn't say all of it because uh, there's some CDs that I, I like to keep, you know, the ones that are signed, the ones that have a lot of, you know, value for me. But I sold 90, I don't know, 95% of my collection uh, because I don't really use those CDs anymore. Because uh, everything I, I listen to is via Spotify. That's what I do, that's what I use. And one of the things that made me realize how little I need CDs is traveling. When I started to travel more often, I realized that, you know, uh, that I'm, I might never pick up a CD anymore, like most of my CDs anyway, because everything I do is streaming. Yes, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. And I, I, I actually used this uh, service called <clears throat> uh, Music Magpie here in the UK, uh, which uh, specializes in buying all CDs they take most titles, not all of them, which is a bit unfortunate. But I think there's an, an American version called uh, Declutter or something like that. You can download the app and you can use the, the barcode scanner, which is very, very useful, very handy. So my experience with this company has been great. Uh, not perfect because, again, they don't take everything. And sometimes they reject some really good stuff. Well, you know like stuff that you think has a lot of value or they could sell for some money but they don't really accept it and then sometimes when you try um, scanning the same item a few days after they do accept it and they give you some good money sometimes the the opposite happens where you know they they first they want something and, and after a few days they don't so I find that whole thing a bit weird uh, but anyway you know this was a great service to, to use So I wanted to expand on my experience using Music Magpie. Uh, this is a service that I am very glad I came across because it's very useful. If you want to get rid of all your CDs, books, DVDs and all that, or just like a partial 
um, you know, amount of your CDs that you want to sell, then this is a great service to have. I'm sure there's other services like like this one on the internet, but this is the only one that I've used. And from what I know, it's one of the biggest ones, so they will take a lot of stuff off of you. But yes, uh, this is something that I encourage you to do. If you want to get rid of your collection, this is not something that everyone wants to do. You know, some people are really attached to their, you know, music collection, and, and I get it because I was there before. You know, I never saw myself selling my, you know, Motorhead CDs or my Iron Maiden CDs, you know, even though I could easily go to the shop and buy a, a new version of, um, or another copy of the same CD for like five pounds or 10 pounds max. I still, you know, had a lot of, um, you know, emotional um, feelings towards those CDs. But anyway, this is something that, uh, again, it works for me. And as I said before, when I started traveling um, and coming back home, I started to realize the little, how little I need to survive. And it also made me a bit scared of like, what am I gonna do? How am I, am I going to transport all my CDs, all my books and DVDs? Uh, once I move countries or if I want to move cities or whatever so uh, you know I'm all about conveniency now but again you know this is just me it works different for for everyone so I don't want anyone to think that you know I'm advocating this like this is the be all end all you know way of living because this is not you know this is just what works for certain people so uh, yeah I mean I encourage you to use my music magpie um, if this is something that you want to do.